Well, you know, anybody that sees any of our kids walking out of the gym or sees them in public this week, give them a hug because that's not on them. That game's on me. Uh, twice this week, we've let one kid beat us. And, I mean, all credit to, to McDermott. I mean, what an unbelievable player. Made big shot after big shot, big play after big play. But, you know, we tried lots of different things, tried, tried lots of different combinations and guarding her, but we just didn't have an answer. And uh, I think that's a coaching thing. And so I, I think that uh, all that blame falls squarely on my shoulders. I um, thought our kids played hard. We got a little stagnant offensively in the fourth quarter, but they just made big play after big play, and that's what great teams do. If you'd have told me we were going to score 87 points today, I'd have told you we were going to win the game. But it didn't happen. So, again, uh, don't give up on these kids. They're, they're working hard. They're trying hard. You know, they're, they're representing the university in a positive manner. Coach got to get better. And, uh, again, it's on me. Y'all got to feel the blue chips here. I mean, you had a great game against a team that has blown you out three times that y'all played them. And then someone just goes off on, on y'all, hitting every shot. I mean, you got to think about what do we got to do? Yeah, I mean, that's what great players do. I mean, you know, we talk, I talked to our team before the game, and I said, you know, sometimes you got to be willing to be the gold or the hero, either one. But somebody's got to be willing to take the big shot. Somebody's got to be willing to make a big play. And that's what she did. And that's what great players do. And, and, I, and, and she's, you know, she's a great player. And, I, um, and I, you know, her coach trusted her, put the ball in her hands, and she made it happen. And, uh, you know, again, um, not going to back not gonna back down and say we were jinxed. I mean, she's just good, and, and she made plays and she made shots. Um, but, you know, again, we have got to find a way to slow somebody like that down. We've got to find a way to uh, to try to keep the ball out of her hands. And like I said, we tried lots of different things. We tried trapping her. We tried switching off who was guarding her. Uh, but uh, she she just made a lot of big plays. I mean, like I said, it's disappointing, but uh, nobody should be disappointed in our kids. Bria said that she just moved. I know she's getting a lot of credit here. That, I mean, she had a great fourth quarter, great game, but she just moved so well off of the ball when she gave the ball. You all forced the ball out of her hands, and she would find her spot. I, does it come down to just having a fifth defender? You know, because Grace Buffelli was kind of limited in this game as well. Or how how, how do you scheme that? Because you might see him again. In the tournament. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we were trying to get the post to step up big, and, you know, sometimes we were a little bit late there. But, I mean, she's just an outstanding player, and I agree with Bria. She just moves so well without the ball, you know, and they set good screens for her. doesn't take her but a split second to get her shot off. And, of course, the, the more she made, the more the, the bigger the basket looked. So, uh, I mean, again, just credit, credit to her. But uh, if we do see him again, again, it, that's on me to, to figure out a way to uh, – to uh, to slow that down. I mean that you know it, it's dis. It, I'm disappointed in myself because I wasn't able to help our kids more. Coach, you mentioned you kind of struggled in the fourth quarter offensively. What, what do you think you and I did to cause that? Um, you know, I don't really think they switched up anything. Really, I thought we got good shots. I thought we got good shots, and in the the first three third quarter, those shots went in. But they didn't go in in the fourth quarter. And we fought like crazy on the offensive glass. I thought that was some of the best offensive rebounding we've had all year. But then we couldn't finish, you know. And uh, and so I just – I don't think it was shot selection in the fourth quarter as much as it was the ball just stopped going in. I thought the players tried to be that goat. How about Bria? She had two other threes that could have easily mm -hmm. gone in and would have helped you. Yeah. It wasn't like they were bashful. No, no, Bria doesn't back down from a challenge for sure. You know, there were a couple possessions where the offensive rebound, tip, 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 and it comes up in their hands. One time I think they got a three uh, or foul, two free throws, and then another time they got an offensive put back. I mean, we, we actually got some stops there at the end but didn't finish the possession with a rebound. It's just like, you know, every time the ball uh, bounced, it just seemed like, it, you know, it didn't go our way. Should the Philly have had two free throws on that offensive rebound at the end of the ball game? I thought I thought it should was on the floor. Um, shoot where she went up. Oh, I, I Haven claims that she didn't touch her at all. But I mean, I, again, I don't know. It it looked like that if if she did foul her, she foul her on the run through, and so I you know I didn't feel like yeah I didn't feel like. But again, I'm not I'm not judging. Refer anything. Coach, I would have to – I mean, you'd love to shoot 50% for three, but mathematically you're looking at in these possessions, the number of possessions you're creating, you want this team to shoot 36% for three tonight, 29. That's just two shots. Is that just something you come back into the gym and work on 
getting back to 36 percent in the perfect spots or just keep taking what you're taking and yeah. make it happen i mean like i said i thought we got good looks and we and the and the people we want taking the shot are you know a lot of times are getting those shots we just got we just got to be able to make those shots in in key moments i think that's the difference between good teams and great teams you know, great teams make those big shots when, when they need to the most. Great teams get those stops when they need to the most. And, you know, we're right there. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh, man, you are right there. Well, you know what? That's not that's not good enough for me. Being right there is being right there. I mean, we had a chance this week to go up against two of the best teams in the conference, and we had a lead in both games, and we didn't finish that. That's coaching. That's on me. So, you know. But I've got I've got to get better, and I've got to figure a way to help our kids push through and help our kids finish these games because there is no reason, no reason whatsoever that we're not able to win these two games this week, except for the fact that the other teams got really really good players that made great plays. So I'm not taking anything away from them whatsoever. Um, you know that's what that's what great players do.